there we come to the last section of third john and that's third john verses 12 uh, to 14 and in this section of course we come to the third of the uh, three characters in the book of third john uh, remember the book of third john revolves around the three characters gaius uh, in verses one uh, really right down to verse eight then the Octrophies in verses 9 to verse 11, and then from verse 12, uh, really 12 and 13 and 14, uh, the emphasis is on Demetrius, particularly in verse 12. And so these are the three, if you like, the spine of the book, uh, are these three characters. And this, of course, is complete contrast to Second John, uh, where there's no names mentioned at all. Uh, but Third John revolves around these three characters uh, and if you like, the sandwich is Diotrephes. Uh, Gaius uh, has a good report, uh, and uh, the bad part in the middle of the sandwich would be Diotrephes, uh, but then the outer layer of the sandwich uh, here would be Demetrius. And so, sandwich between uh, two characters which are good and have a good testimony uh, is the bad testimony of Diotrephes, uh, even to the extent that if John was come, uh, he would envisage uh, some form of discipline. Uh, and some would even go as far as suggest that uh, Diotrephes may not even have been saved. Uh, in fact, if you look a bit more detail, uh, we will see that uh, Diotrephes does not pass any of the tests uh, that John sets out in First John, the moral test. <coughs> uh, his deeds, <coughs> excuse me, verse 10, Wherefore, if I can't remember his deeds, which he doeth, uh, prating against us with malicious words. He does not pass the social test. Uh, there was a lack of love. He doesn't receive the brethren and forbids them the wood and cast them out uh, of the church. Uh, and uh, therefore, uh, he fails the doctrinal test. Uh, verse 11, that he that doeth evil hath not seen God. And so it strongly suggested that the atrophies that were not told specifically uh, may not have been saved at all. Uh, and this may well be John's way of actually identifying him by uh, referring to Gaius uh, first and then Demetrius at the end uh, and contrasting the atrophies uh, and uh, Demetrius as we look at in these verses. <coughs> so let's just pray before we read the scriptures. Our God and Father, we do thank you for this time together. We can turn to your word. We thank you for this book. And we just pray as we look at this last section, Lord, you speak to us uh, as to our lives. Pray, Lord, we would have that uh, good report uh, like the Saviour did. He had done all things well. He had made both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. Thank you for the uh, great testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even those that uh, didn't acknowledge him would have to say he is a good man. Uh, we think of the Saviour upon the cross. Uh, the thief said, We indeed justly, we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man hath done nothing amiss. And so we're thankful that uh, even the Lord Jesus had such a great uh, testimony in this world. Pilate had to say, I find no fault in him. And Father, help us uh, in our lives to uh, have a good testimony by the way that we live and act and speak. Uh, and pray, Lord, that what is said of Demetrius will be true of every believer in Christ. So Father, give thanks now, and just pray for your help uh, in the Saviour's name. Amen. <coughs> so we come to uh, the letter of Third John, uh, and we're going to read all of uh, the letter. Uh, so starting at verse 1, uh, right down to verse 14, uh, and we'll focus our attention at the end on verses 12, 13, and 14. So 3rd John, uh, commencing at the start. Uh, the elder unto the world beloved Gaius, or beloved Gaius, <coughs> whom I love in the truth. And the emphasis on the I there is emphatic. Beloved, I wish or pray uh, concerning all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. For I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. And that may well be a verse, probably the most well-known verse of the third letter of John. 
Verse 5, Beloved, thou doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to the brethren, to the strangers, which have borne witness of thy charity before the church, whom if thou bring forward on their journey after a godly short or worthily of God, or in a manner that pleases God, thou shalt do well, because that for his name's sake they went forth, taking nothing of the Gentiles. We therefore ought to receive such, that we might be fellow helpers to the truth. Uh, otherwise, you know, this is, as we pass it, uh, that John says, we ought to receive such. Now in verse 9, we have Dotrophies, and we have the complete opposite uh, approach. I write unto the church, but Dotrophies, who loveth have the preeminence among them, receives us not. Wherefore, if I come and remember uh, his deeds, which he doeth, threatened against us with malicious or evil words, and not content therewith, neither doth he himself receive the brethren, I forbid it then that word and cast it down out of the church. And so verse 8 says we ought to receive such. Uh, and yet verse uh, 10, I think it is, uh, says uh, he does not receive the brethren. It's just the complete opposite uh, attitude. Verse 11, beloved. Uh, imitate or follow not that which is evil but that which is good he that doeth good is of God he that doeth evil hath not seen God now here's the focus uh, of our message uh, from this verse onwards Demetrius had good report or good testimony by all and of the truth yea and we also bear record or testimony and you know that our record is true I have many things to write but I will not with ink and pen write unto thee but I trust I shall shortly see thee, and we shall speak face to face, or mouth to mouth. Peace be unto thee, our friends salute thee, greet the friends by name. And we know that God will bless uh, the reading of his word. So we come to the third of these uh, characters uh, in the book of Third John. Uh, the first thing we read of Demetrius in verse 12 said he has a good report by all. Now it may well be that Demetrius... Uh, carried the letter from John to Gaius. Uh, and it seems that uh, John is highlighting the deeds of Demetrius if uh, is unknown to Gaius. Now again, we I don't know that, but it does seem that by the way it's written uh, that Gaius wasn't aware of the character of Demetrius. Anyway, witness had been born to Demetrius, his character by all, all who knew him, and especially those uh, in the church. And then, of course, he says, of the truth itself. His life uh, corresponded to the truth. Demetrius was an excellent role model <coughs> uh, because he practiced the truth of God's word uh, in uh, his life. Uh, and that is uh, brings a practical uh, thing for us in our lives as believers. Uh, if we want to be a good example uh, to others, we must practice the truth of God's word in our lives. You remember in the Thessalonian church, when Paul wrote to the Thessalonians, uh, chapter 1, verse 6, he says, And ye became imitators of us, same idea uh, as in verse 11 of 3 John, and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Spirit, so that you were in samples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. So we see the chain here, Paul, Silas, and Timothy, who we were at Thessalonica, uh, imitated the Lord. Uh, the Thessalonians saw this, and they imitated or followed their example. And then they themselves, the Thessalonian church, became examples of all that believed uh, in Macedonia and Achaia. Uh, and so we see the chain uh, of examples, started with Paul, Silas, and Timothy, uh, was passed on to the Thessalonians. And Thessalonians passed it on to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. And they were passed on from that, though it's not recorded uh, there in the Thessalonian church. Then John says, yea, and we also bear record. So John and others could also testify uh, to the truth of God's word that has allowed uh, Demetrius uh, had allowed to affect his life and transform his life uh, and to be godly. And this would also mean that Demetrius would be in trouble with Diotrephes uh, because uh, he had a good report, whereas Diotrephes uh, had the opposite uh, approach. 
And then John says, and ye know that that record is true. The beloved apostle knew firsthand Demetrius was a man of God and was not ashamed to confess it. And so John seems to be commending Demetrius to Gaius as if Gaius didn't already uh, know him. But again, it does bring uh, the challenge to our lives. What kind of example are we setting? Uh, again, you remember Thomas, uh, when he, the Lord had not appeared to the disciples with Thomas present. And Thomas said, I will not believe except I see the print uh, in the nail of his hand. And that word print uh, is the word example. Uh, what did Thomas want to see? Thomas wanted to see the impact uh, of the nails uh, and the mark and the uh, print in the hands of the Saviour that showed him that he had really died. Uh, and that, uh, in, a, in a very dramatic way and vivid way, is what uh, both uh, believers and non-believers want to see. They want to see the example of Christ uh, by our lives. Uh, not we haven't died on the cross, but... They want to see true Christianity lived out in our lives. And that's the real challenge for us. Uh, and also for those that are saved, uh, by the way we live, we can be an example to others. Remember, uh, Paul had said to Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 4, and verse 12, Be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and in purity uh, and so here we see the great example that as believers we can have uh, both on other believers and also on those unsaved by the way that we live so john says i have many things to write and tend to indicate that the uh, time of writing he had so many things to say as he was penning this letter uh, i will not but i will not with ink and pen write unto thee uh, same expression uh, used in Second John and verse 12, the pen mentions of write him, read or pen, uh, and is used only here in the New Testament. Then he says, verse 14, but I trust uh, I will shortly see thee and we shall speak face to face. And then he speaks about peace be unto thee. This is a common way of greeting or farewell amongst the Jews and may well have been an encouragement uh, to Gaius. John still remember the words of the Lord Jesus in John chapter 14 and verse 27. Uh, My peace uh, I leave unto you. Uh, and remember that Gaius uh, would need this whilst the altar feast was still stirring up trouble and strife. And so the challenge is for our lives as we uh, come to a close of this book is that we actively need to seek for ways to show hospitality to God's workers. It could be uh, gift, it could be financial support, it could be uh, an open home, an open heart, it could be a specific prayer. But all these things are ways in which we can show our genuine love and fellow help and be fellow helpers to the truth. And then John ends with uh, two familiar expressions, our friends salute thee, the word friends suggests intimacy and affection. The same word is used in John 11 verse 11, our friend Lazarus sleepeth. Uh, and it seems that the individual believers who were with the apostles send their greetings to Gaius and shows us the depth uh, of fellowship. Also shows the contrast between uh, the welcome and reception that uh, the believers that were with John, they send their greetings to Gaius, whereas the atrophies uh, wouldn't even receive them. And then greet the friends by name. Uh, and you remember Romans chapter 16 uh, we have that photograph of the church uh, in Rome uh, with the list of names and their individuality and their contribution. Uh, and as John closes his third letter, uh, he more or less says the same thing without the detail, uh, greet the friends by name. Here we see that both the Apostle Paul in Romans 16 and John valued friendship and wanted guests to pass on wishes to all of the individuals by name. And so each fellowship with God's people should be close-knit uh, for all the members to know each other personally. And that, uh, again, would show the importance of hospitality uh, and taking time to get to know other believers, even within uh, your own church, let alone uh, other believers in your own area. And remember, John may also well have in mind the Lord's words, John chapter 10, 
uh, and verse 3. To him the Paul openeth, speaking of the shepherd, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. Just as a shepherd uh, names his sheep, uh, and counts them, and knows them individually, knows their characteristics. So John uh, shows his uh, spiritual under shepherding uh, by greeting them by name. Remember the Lord Jesus said in John 10 and verse 27, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life. And so uh, the Lord Jesus knows each one of us and each believer, and he knows us by name, he knows us individually, uh, he knows our characteristics uh, and different aspects of our life. And so I trust as we come to a close of Third John, uh, that you've enjoyed looking through uh, uh, both second and third John, these two small letters that seem to be neglected very much uh, in our study and look of the Old Testament scriptures. Let's just pray. Father, give thanks for your word. Thank you for the time together. Thank you that the Lord Jesus knows us by name. Uh, we thank you, Lord, that you called us by name. And Father, we thank you for uh, the fact that we are known and loved by God as an individual uh, believer. Uh, and yet, Lord, we thank you that we're part of a, a, a church, whether it be the universal church, uh, and as we're part of a local church, Lord, we pray, we pray you'd help us to have that good testimony that Demetrius has had. Thank you for the Saviour and the good report that he had, and pray, Lord, that you'd help us in our lives uh, to demonstrate this uh, Christ-likeness uh, in our lives. Help us, Lord, to allow the truth of God's Word to transform our lives uh, and we pray, Lord, as we allow the Spirit of God and the Word of God to work, you'll make us more like the Saviour. Help us, Lord, uh, to have that good report and to become more like Him, the Saviour, each day as we live our lives for you. So, Father, give thanks now and give you all the glory in the Saviour's name. Amen.